Hey guys, uh, it's Ryan. I got a question on how to make this. I put on my Tumblr. Uh, I made this picture edit thing. Um, this is not my photo. I should have given the guy a photo crowd for it, but I kind of forgot. Uh, and I got a question in my inbox on Tumblr asking how to make this. Alright, so I'm recording this voicing with my phone because um, I don't feel like going into much detail or anything with this video and I don't want to put my headset on so um <clears throat> sorry if you hear any background noise or anything like that if you hear my dog or if you hear my neighbors but, uh, I'll, I'll shut my window okay so um this is actually pretty simple to make um and it comes out looking pretty good I made one it was the same thing like the the vans one had no creativity I just wanted to get a logo out that I thought looked nice, right? So it's the same picture and everything, but I put all the work in the Odd Future one, and then just duplicated the Vans one, or I'm sorry, and duplicated the Odd Future one to make the Vans one. So when it started, um, I will open the PSD and I'll let you guys kind of look through it. If you want to view all these uh, grid lines and stuff, you go to View, Show, uh, Grid. And there's a pixel grid here too. So I do just take extras off and it goes away. So the problem with this uh, Photoshop kind of thing, uh, I don't know what exactly what you call it, little project is that you have to merge visible layers into one rasterized image. So it makes it basically makes it a picture within this. And, um, so, all, all, it's simple, once you think about it, really, there's nothing special whatsoever. It's a, a picture edit, got this off Tumblr, like I said, I'll try and find the link from the guy I got it from and put that in the description. Uh, now, I answered this publicly on Tumblr when someone asked. I said it was color adjustments, it, you know, as you can see, nothing is really this vibrant in nature. Well, this may be, but this no um, depth of field where I blurred the waterfall with a motion blur and masked it masked it and then did uh, a lens blur on the rocks and then I also did a lens blur back here that kind of it fades into it and so really the focus is right here and that's where the logo goes there and then just a link at the bottom um, all right, sorry about that. So I will pull the files out, and I will pretty much recreate this. It'll probably it will look different because I'm not gonna match every single setting. All right, so use the original photo. If you get a little lock symbol on the layer, double click on the blue area and unlock it. I'll start with. Even saturation, I guess. So, you really don't ever want to add too much saturation because it looks bad, and then it also gets to the point where you get it, you get the primary color showing, like this. So, well, saturate it about there. And don't change the hue because you'll get different color layouts. So, like, you got red rock and, like, turquoise water but you can change the original more to a little more blue just like that that comes out looking fairly good uh, what else did I change we did brightness and contrast we added a little bit more contrast and then added a little bit more brightness to give it kind of a glow um, you can do like a a general like, color filter over it but I would kind of don't suggest that unless you're going for a certain look Otherwise, it might look tacky, but there you just create a layer. I mean, there's multiple ways to do it, but you could create a layer and then have the color over it and change the overlay and, and fade it out and everything like that, but whatever. I'm not going to go into that. Um, and then, so you have these. You just want to go, be sure they're all visible, right-click on them, and merge visible, so it's all one image. Okay, then you're going to select the layer, hit Control-J, or go here and hit Duplicate, and then we're going to do Control-J again for the second blur. 
So this blur is going to be the motion blur of the waterfall. So you go to filter, blur, motion blur. As you see, you get a motion blur. Th these are the last settings I used. And I'm going to put it about there. Okay. All right. So um, you're going to click here on your color palette thing to switch to the black and white. I already had it. Uh, and, and switch to the black setting. You're going to have this layer selected. And then you're going to click this for a mask. Then you're going to go to your paintbrush. Look at your settings. This hardness is set to zero. I'm going to set it a little higher. And you can uncheck the layer below. But with this mask, as you can see, where you paint in black, it disappears. So, I'm going to make everything else disappear. So you don't get any... Uh, motion blur on any other parts of the image all right and then a softer brush is just like feathering so you don't want to get too close and you want to come back over and, and kind of feather it okay so bam there you go you have a motion blurred waterfall not much but it's all about depth of field, makes it look realistic, more action, kind of more going on. Um, okay, so we'll do the lens blur on this again. It's the same thing. Uh, we're gonna go to filter, blur, lens blur. So you've got all these settings. I just mess with the radius. should be good. So, then you have a whole lens word image. If you do the same thing, paint over black where you don't want it. Wait, let my partner see down. Dun, 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 dun. So, you paint over everywhere you don't want this. Keep the brush hardness up there. I'm not going to say 100%, but you want it up pretty high. can take the layers underneath off to get a look for this where your mask is. So almost done. Oops. Almost done here. Wanted right, to blur the rocks. This is kind of a sloppy job. You you get what you you get out what you put in with this in Photoshop. Especially um, I put in probably an hour on the other picture, on the actual picture I put out. Alright, so, you can see it's pretty a pretty rough mask, but it comes out looking fine because it's blurred. Oops. Comes out looking fine because it's blurred. It's not a big deal. And then, I'm going to hit Control J one more time put it under um, yeah put it under the other two blurred layers I got to clean up my masks So, uh, we're going to do the same thing, filter, blur, lens blur. Now the, the outer blur, the farther blur is going to be a little different. It's going to be a little bit less, but it's still there. Go to about a four. Uh, then it's the same thing. This mask is a lot easier to make. Son of a bitch. You're gonna make your mask thing here with that button. 
And then you're going to unblur everything down here. Then you're going to bring the hardness down. You're going to do kind of a concave shape here and go up slowly in order to simulate the lens. The shape of the lens. So there you go, you got a blur in the background, just subtle, but you can see it. So you have your depth of field, instead of one flat, dull kind of looking image with colors, you have a visual array of things to look to. And one of the masks ruined the colors, I'm not sure why, but you can fix that with color adjustments. Um, let's see, that's about it. You're going to go right click, emerge visible. And then, yeah, why don't we do the logo now, I suppose. So, say you want to do the Odd Future one. It's all my graphic design stuff. So, there's an Odd Future logo I got off the internet. Pretty high resolution, not the best, but still looks good on everything else. Uh, it made it transparent, and I'm going to throw that on top. I don't think I changed the size at all. So, I'll just hit Enter, right-click rasterize layer, go and use difference, overlay settings set to difference, so you still get the, the main colors, um, and then you get some of the rock, so I've, whatever you call it, switching the colors in the bottom of the OF logo, alright, and then <clears throat> there, your text tool is extremely easy, I set it to an 18 font size, and then you do yourlink.tumblr.com. Whatever you um, whatever you want to put it on there. If it's like a Twitter, if you put it on Twitter, or whatever. Or if you don't want this on there, then don't put it on there. Simple as that. Go and hit Control A. So select the text, switch it to white, and then slap it in an overlay. Uh, what do you call it? Blend mode. So there you can't see it because I didn't fix the colors down there. Um, but you can move it around. You can put it up here. You can put it there. I don't know why you would, but yeah, you can put it pretty much anywhere. You can switch the colors and make it look a little different, whatever. So we'll just delete that. We don't need that. And the last thing is adding a lens flare. So you go to filter, render. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're going to hit clouds first. So we're going to make sun rays, like artificial sun rays. You're going to go to filter, render, clouds. Okay, then you're going to put this in the overlay mode. And then you see you kind of got some cloud distortion thing going. You're going to go to filter, blur, radial blur. You're going to make it, say, zoom instead of spin. You're going to pull it up here. You're going to blur it some more, make it look like sunshine, put it to best and hit OK. Changes it a little bit. Doesn't do much, it still adds something though. Okay, it, that sounds stupid but it's true. Um, then you go back down to your base layer here, select it, filter, render, lens flare. And then we, I put it up here in the corner. And I used the 105 prime. You make it as bright as you want. And let's see how that comes out. And there you go. And it's done. That is pretty much what I got as a final result. Pretty close. Okay, um, let me see if I can whoops, change this a tad to see what's different about it. The sun's a little brighter, the depth of field's different. I changed it a little. Otherwise, you just about have the same thing. Um, so I basically told you how to rip off my design and everything. And uh, go ahead and do it. Send it to me. Um, if it's good, whatever, it's not hard to do. You saw this, this was a 15-minute video. 
and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.